Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy and her daddy and her little brother, Timmy, in a blue house at the end of a long gravel driveway at the edge of the forest in Tillamook, Oregon. And something the little girl looked forward to each month was something special that would come in the mail. It was full of beautiful pictures and it had images of places all over the world that she would love to go explore and see one day. It was called the National Geographic. And in the National Geographic, she would see things like pictures of Egypt with the pyramids and camels and key treasures of King Tut's tomb and she would picture one day maybe going there or going and getting to meet Coco the gorilla and signing with Coco and playing with his kitten ball or going in a submarine under the water and exploring sunken ships like when they discovered the Titanic. But one day there was something amazingly beautiful in the National Geographic that caught her attention. It was pictures of the most beautiful beaches in the entire world. Now, the little girl lived on the Oregon coast, and they have beaches on the Oregon coast, but they're very different from beaches in other places, like here in Florida. On the Oregon coast, when you go to the beach, you walk on the beach, and you look at the water. You don't swim in the ocean, it's too cold. And so as she was looking at these pictures of these beautiful white sandy beaches and blue crystal seas and little waves and palm trees with coconuts and people swimming in the water and the water was supposed to be warm and there were people wearing funny masks and things and they pictures underwater and they saw a gorgeous fish of many colors, manta rays, sea turtles, oh. The little girl had never seen anything so beautiful or amazing, and in her heart of hearts, she wanted so very much to go and experience these beautiful beaches for herself. As she was looking in the magazine, there was one in particular that caught her attention. It was called Hanuma Bay, and it was in Hawaii. And she thought, I know what I want to give my family for a present. I want to take my mommy and my daddy and my little brother to Hawaii, and we're going to go to Hanuma Bay and see the ocean and swim with the sea turtles. And so she went to her room, and she opened her piggy bank, and she started counting her money. And she had dollar bills that she had gotten from the tooth fairy for losing some of her teeth. And sometimes she had some other dollars or $5 bills that she'd gotten in birthday cards. She was very good at saving money because she knew there would be something special one day. She also got a little bit of an allowance each week for doing things like unloading the dishwasher and vacuuming. And so as she poured out her dimes and pennies and nickels and quarters and dollar bills on her bed, she counted all of them until she had the grand total of all her life savings, $57. Oh. She didn't know how much it would cost to take her family to Hawaii, so she thought she better ask someone who knew. And so she scooped up her life savings and she went and she found her mom. And she said, Mom, Mom, I want to take our family to Hawaii and see the beautiful beaches and swim with the turtles. This is how much money I have. How much does it cost to go to Hawaii? And then Mommy looked at the little girl and she looked at the meager amount in her hand and she said, oh, honey, it would cost more than $1,000 for our family to go to Hawaii. <gasps> $1,000? The girl's heart was shattered. There was no way a little girl like her could earn $1,000, not even in 100 years. How could she ever have that kind of money to take her family to Hawaii? She would never be able to pay the price herself. And her mommy looked at her and she saw that look of disappointment and how much she wanted to have this special opportunity. And she said, honey, your dad and I have a surprise that we've been waiting to tell you about, but I want to share it with you right now. You know how every Wednesday night you've had a babysitter coming over and, and she's been staying with you and your brother and, and your dad and I have been going to the community college and teaching an anatomy class to the college students. Well, we've decided to take the money that we've earned for teaching this class, and we're going to take our whole family to Hawaii for your birthday next year. 
The little girl was shocked. Her heart leapt with joy. She couldn't pay the price, but her mom and dad could pay it all so they could go on this beautiful adventure. The time passed, they got all of their things ready, they packed their bags. The little girl, I'm sure is of no surprise to you, had her red backpack full of her favorite books and toys to take onto the airplane. And they flew across the Pacific Ocean on a Hawaiian airline plane where they got to drink guava juice. And when they landed and got off the plane, the lovely Hawaiian people were there and they lay, put flower lays around their neck. And as they drove to the hotel, there were beautiful rainbow in the sky. The little girl had never seen where you could see blue sky and rain at the same time. Hawaii was a beautiful, magical place. And the next morning, best of all, the adventure started by going to Hanuma Bay where when she got down to the beach, she saw the palm trees and the coconuts growing on the palm trees. And as they got down to the water, they put on their snorkels and their masks and they went and waded in and she put her face in the water and she saw beautiful fish. She saw parrotfish that are turquoise and purple. And as she swam out, she saw manta ray kind of coming up from under the water and a little further out, the most exciting thing of all, a big giant sea turtle that she was able to swim along behind. Hawaii was even more beautiful than anything that she had seen in any of the pictures that she had ever looked at. The pictures were just a little representation of how amazing, magnificent, incredible Hawaii really was when she got to experience it for herself. Boys and girls, moms and dads, we're here in the Christmas season, and we all love to talk about Jesus and baby Jesus and the gift of baby Jesus and Jesus coming to be the present of Christmas. But I would like you to consider that the present of Jesus is even bigger than that because what Jesus did is grow up and pay a price that none of us, not a mom or dad or the biggest, most important grown-up in the entire world could ever pay for themselves to be able to go to heaven and live with Jesus forever and ever. That is the present of Jesus and Christmas. And as we look forward and look around us, I want us to think about how each one of us today can accept the gift of Jesus. Because in the Bible, it tells us there's nothing that we need to do. There's only one thing that we can have is for the gift of eternal life, it's accepting and believing in Jesus Christ. And then all of us can live forever in that beautiful, incredible, amazing place that's even more than we could ever imagine now. So I invite you to accept that gift of Jesus with me today.